Floyd and go ahead. Yes, Bill? Yeah. Uh, I have never heard of any young man being discriminated against in high school sports due to the size of his penis. <laughs> You've never heard of a teacher saying that a male should have penis reduction because it was too large. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a long show for us here, isn't it? Uh, I blame a lot of the problems of women and their breast unhappiness on the advertising industry. I think they push breasts they and do. sex to they sell do. just about anything. They do. And, I, and uh, I think a woman who has got a good personality, whether she has small or large breasts, uh, get the head of the business. Too. I wanted to ask the stripper, do you have your bras custom made? And how no, much I, do you have I to pay for them? get a double D cup and sometimes I hang out. That's okay. Yes, ma'am. You like to what? Don't believe these men how will tell you about the personality and all that stuff. They're lying to you. When they see an ad in the paper that says like 48 double D, they run. And, and then and they'll tell direction? their wife and their girlfriend that they don't like them that big. Over here, Charlie. How old are you? Me? 35. Um, I think there's a lot of really major issues today that should occupy someone's mind, and I'd like to know who you ever had a really good conversation with talking to their breasts or their penis. I mean, <laughs> really, I think... I mean, how, look what this is making women look like. This yeah, is she's saying that everybody you talk to will be preoccupied with your bust rather than your... Oh, me? Can I say something? Yeah. Um, sure. Everyone's saying that it's a sex issue or it's a media issue, that the media has pushed this on to us, and I don't really um, believe that that's always true. Like in my case, this is something that I've taken from childhood on with me. It's not that, okay, you think that I'm okay looking, I'm fine, it's satisfactory. It's something within me. I'm not satisfied. Um, and I think that's true of a lot of people. Whether You're not they're satisfied because of the smallness of your right. breasts. Right. And I don't think it's just, it's, it's an issue of a sexual preference that they be larger or anything else. A lot of people would like to be thinner. A lot of people would like to be... I just want to say that uh, we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And I have always believed that you really should know the quality of the person, not what they look like. Yeah, that's what we say, isn't it? That's yeah. Exactly. I would like to know. I would like to know the uh, the size of the instructor that told her that. Yeah. <laughs> the instructor's breath. Well, you better be careful. Then, then you're playing the game that uh, we're trying to avoid. My question is to you, the women on the end. When you decide to have your breasts reduced or or um, enlarged. Yeah. Right. What does the um, size? Do you, could you say I prefer a uh, 46D, or yeah. or is it in proportion to your body? It's in proportion to your body. The width of your shoulder, you know, is very important. Uh, it's basically in proportion to your body. You're not going to go from an E or a Q to a double A. You know, this makes sense. The gal in the white. If you've been so unhappy for so long, why have you waited so long to have surgery? Why are you waiting? Why haven't you done it? Wouldn't you be hesitant to have this? Well, how old are you? Are you talking to me? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 30, and... Um, I have three children. I wanted to wait and get that taken care of. I also, it's not something that you decide to do one day and go and have it done. I've talked to three plastic surgeons. They all have a different technique of doing things. <clears throat> and I like to evaluate those procedures and see which one I feel safest with. I think Vicki should bring up the point about... <laughs> what? I think Vicki should bring up the point about the Dallas Cowboy Shoes. You ever seen them? They're, and they're professional. The, uh, the, uh, that's another, you know, the NFL is in this, in my opinion. Here is the United Way NFL, you know, fathers and mothers and two and a half children and a station wagon with a wood on the side. And they're doing their best against a lot of bad press about drugs to present themselves as a family-oriented entertainment undertaking. And they send these women out there, half-dressed, and they jiggle around for four quarters, uh, and then if these women move on in any way to have themselves uh, photographed mm -hmm. totally uh, topless in Playboy, for example, they're suddenly dismissed. Mm -hmm. We really play a teasing game with women's bodies, and I think that uh, the uh, NFL is just one agency that exploits 
a woman's body while at the same time pretending to be a member of the church choir. Yes, and you know, Phil, I think that this is really not so much about sex as it is about sexism. Yes. It's about keeping women in their place, and it's about how do we value women. I think in this country, I think in this country we've been talking about valuing women based on the size of their breasts rather than on their achievements. And I think we should be sending a message to our daughters that what we care about is achievement. What we care about is community involvement. And those are the kinds of values we care about. And the size of their breasts would be totally irrelevant. Are you call uh, there? Go ahead. Yes. Hi. Yes. I am so glad you're doing this show today because I am going to have breast reduction surgery tomorrow. I'm a 42 double D. And I just cannot wait to have the surgery. How old are you? 25. Single? Yeah, no, I'm married. Mm -hmm. And he approves of this? Oh, yeah. He, my husband wants me to feel good about mm -hmm. myself. Uh -huh. How long have you been thinking about it? Since, uh, since I was about 18. Tell me what's the problem, as you see. I have back trouble. After I worked all day, my shoulders and my neck <coughs> are in really bad pain. And... And I'm just tired of being looked at, you know? Stared at. Right, exactly. You dress down? Yes. I try to cover it as much as I can. Yeah. See, the problem is we want attention from certain men. Let's say in this group there might be two men in the audience that I want to talk to me, and there might be 20 that I don't want to talk to me. And if I'm in a group, you know, they all come after you. You know, so, it's, you, yeah. get rid of the ones you don't want, keep the ones you want. That's yeah. the hard part, you know? You know, it's one thing, down. Phil, it's one thing if, <laughs> it's the one thing if a woman has back problems and there are really physical reasons why she needs to have that breast reduction. But what I'm really most concerned about is that a lot of women don't have physical reasons, but they yeah. have emotional reasons. Yeah. And these emotional reasons are because of this sexist trip we have laid on them from the moment of birth where we yeah. keep saying how important yeah. it is to have a certain size breast. They buy into it, then they go to the radical act of surgery, which is very radical. And then if they have to have mastectomies, by the way, later on because of cancer, then they feel like they're not real women at all. Yeah. And I think that that's awful for I them do to too. feel that way. Cinder, you wanted to say? Well, I feel like the large breast problem, it's no different than having fat thighs. Except fat thighs, you can diet and exercise away. And large breasts, you can't, and that's real frustrating. Yeah. Well, some of the women in the audience want to know that it's, you to know that it's not quite that easy. But you do make a point that, uh, that exercise and diet do not necessarily change uh, breast size. Uh, let me uh, sneak this on. Uh, hi, thanks for waiting. Go ahead. Good morning. <laughs> I just wanted to say that um, I'm glad you're doing the show. By the time I was 13 years old, I was a 34C, and all my life I'm 28 years old now, and I'm still fighting the attitude of men and women alike against women who have large breasts. Yeah. Uh, you probably don't wear a uh, off-the-shoulder uh, formal floor-length gown, huh? No. <laughs> Definitely not. You never in your life have done that? Um, no. There was a brief period of time when I said, well, you know, what am I going to do? This is it. It's my body. If it's what I'm stuck with, I might as well just enjoy it. But I found that it only made matters worse, so I went back to, you know, looser clothes and... What, what happened? Um... What happened when you wore the other clothes? <laughs> I had everybody, all kinds of, of in, men interested in me only for my body, and and I didn't feel as good about myself. I felt um, like I was trying to play a part that I wasn't really, it wasn't really me. Uh -huh. But sometimes if you don't have something like large <laughs> breasts, they're not interested in you for anything. You know. And they, no, it's true, know, but you, you know. <laughs> yes. I say any man that goes with a woman for the first time and meets her, and if that's uppermost in his mind, he isn't worth bothering with. Yeah. So I think that our moral, it's our moral values and self-esteem, and we should go back as far as our schools and our curriculum and train our children in exercises and follow a better curriculum, and it's health, all of this is tied in together.